2010 Geo 250cc dirt bike. Let's do a quick review and discussion and let's look at the blown motor I bought in this baby. Uh, as usual, please, if you find anything useful in this, please like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Tell me about your experiences. I want to know. This is the second Chinese dirt bike I bought after I got the Apollo 250 here. I saw another one had plastics on it. Ooh, but it had a broken motor. This one was almost twice as much as that at $150 Canadian. Um, but it does have a completely disassembled motor. But it did come with all the plastics. It came with a seat, which fits on this and does not fit on that. These bikes are fascinating. They're very similar. They're basically the same motor. Very similar chassis, but they are different chassis. They are different swing arms, about the same forks. But this one has like neat, look at the anodizing on this shock. That is pretty. That one does not have that. I think the fork's the same, brakes look the same. It had bigger tires on it, although a smaller like 420 chain, that one's got a 520 or 530. Big tires though, similar metal tires. Got this stupid air injection. Oh no, this is from the other bike. It's, I think for emissions, they inject some air into the exhaust stream. Anyways, this thing's got a blown motor. We had a look at the motor. We got a key with this one. And a tiny, tiny, tiny gas tank. I think that thing has got to be two liters, three. I don't know, it's tiny. Look at this pretty CDI. It's a Casoli, because it's a Giovanni motorcycle. It's a Casoli. This is made in China. This is made in China. But that's cool. Everything on this bike is not bad, but we bought it with a blown motor. So, can we fix this motor? What is it going to cost? Is this thing worthless? Let's go have a look at the motor. So, in the world of Chinese motorcycles, nobody knows anything. This thing has a serial number on it that says ZS169FMM. What does that mean? This is a Zongshen 169FMM. This is the first year they went to overhead cam on this motor. I believe it is almost exactly the same as this motor, which is a slightly later version of the Zongshen 233. Even though it says 250 on here, even though the cylinder says 250, this thing, that piston, is 65.5 millimeters by 67 strokes, so this thing, again, is 233 cc's. I don't know why they put 250 on anything. The motor's called the CB250. Now, this motor works okay. We got an up -Z and down -Z. What happened was, it's got a broken valve. So, the head, where's the head? We have a broken, uh, what's that, exhaust? Intake valve, so we got a broken intake valve. This motor shows very little wear on it. Here's our valve. Oh, it's broken in half. It's broken in half on the Giovanni. Uh, I think what happened is somebody had barely ridden this motorcycle. They forced downshifted this bike at high RPM. Piston met valve, valve broke off. Valve go bangy, bangy onto piston head. It's only a pretty minor ding. Cylinder wall is good. These are cheap. Simple overhead cam. We got a tiny cam here. Look at this little guy. He's a little fella. He only got two lobes on there. We got a timing chain in there. So we're going to assume this is okay. Cylinder's okay, although these are really cheap new. Heads are okay. We have about a million bolts in here. Hopefully I can figure out which one is which. We got a timing chain guide here. These are important. That goes in there. That timing chain which is falling into the motor. Hopefully we can figure out how to time it. What's cool is parts are super cheap for this. These valves, I found them on AliExpress, or no, eBay, $11 US. Shipped for the valves. Wow. Piston, what does a piston cost? Well, for a CR250R, my old motorcycle, a two-stroke piston with barely any piston rings whatsoever, probably the same diameter as this. Uh, I think by the time you pay for it, it was almost $100. This thing was $16 shipped US. Wow, now that's cheap. Even though there's a ding in the piston, I bet you it would have been okay. But we order a new one anyways. The head here has a little bit of damage from that valve banging around in there. Uh, but I think it's going to be okay. It's not on the valve seat or anything. So, we're going to put our $11 valves in here. We're going to put that. It's got a metal head gasket, which is cool. So we're going to reuse that. Base gaskets look good, but the gaskets cost nothing. The cylinder, I think, is like $40 for a new cylinder. The replating I did on the CR250R locally... Uh, was about 700. 700! And we had to still machine it afterwards to get it to fit. This? <laughs> Nothing! El Chiparoni! Yes, it's a 250. Why do they just say 230? I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to try and get this thing together. I tried to find some performance mods for this thing. Uh, they sell this in a water-cooled with four valves per cylinder. 
you know, that's ideally what you want. But this is the air cool. It's what we got. I think it's going to be okay. Uh, I think it's going to work. It is nearly the same as that. Where's our stator? Uh, stator's around here somewhere. Not applicable! Anyway, stator goes in here. I think I'll even drive a light. So we're going to try and slap this back together again. This bike had a working motor, which was cool, but was missing a ton of parts. This thing basically has all the parts, but doesn't have a working motor. But it has all these blingy, blingy, zingy, zingy stuff. So I'm looking forward to trying this thing out. Uh, it is so interesting that they are so similar, and yet uh, certainly different in certain ways. It'll be fun to do a comparison. I bet you they are exactly the same. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what do you think? Should we get her, what should we do? Should we put a 450 from a Yamaha WR in here? No, it won't fit. We're going to get two thumpers. It's going to be thumper town around here. Air-cooled kingdom. Unite! Anyways, what is your experience? Got any tips, tricks, things for me to do? Let me know. See you in the next one.